This is Tahani. She's a prominent British philanthropist, a neck model, a cover girl for International Sophisticate magazine, and has award-winning legs. Such fun. Cheers. <laughs> Despite being born with sexy giraffe-like genes and into incredible wealth and power, Tahani always feels like she's living in the shadow of her super famous sister, Camilla. The youngest person ever to graduate from Oxford University and the person voted most likely to be Banksy. She's not going to be living for long, though. One fatefully forked up night, Tahani sneaks into her sister's album release party. My own sister didn't even deign to invite me to her little soiree, so I had to weasel my way in here like some common weasel. After an argument with Camilla, Tahani tries to pull down a statue of her sister and goes from being emotionally crushed by Camilla to being actually crushed by Camilla, or rather, her statue. I died in Cleveland? I don't think that should be your biggest takeaway from that story. But no worries, she was a good person on Earth and now she's in the good place. Hurrah, hurrah, yay! Or so she thinks. After all, she raised billions for nonprofits. So Tahani means congratulations in Arabic and Al Jamil means beautiful, so my full name altogether means... Congratulations, beautiful. Thanks, Helena. Now she's free to spend eternity planning parties, baking scones, and giving people playful nose boops. Boop. Oh! Oh! You booped me. <laughs> I did. That's fun. But not everything is good in the good place for Tahani. Her soulmate is Jianyu, a silent monk. When you see him smiling and nodding, that's actually his way of jumping up and down with glee. Isn't that right, darling? And for someone who loves to talk as much as she does, being paired with a mute mate is torture. You see where I'm going with this. I took a vow of silence, but he won't even talk to me, his soulmate. And I adore talking. After repeatedly trying to break through Jianyu's wordless walls, Tahani finds friendship in Eleanor. Until this happens. The problem in the neighborhood is me. Which makes her pretty upset. I haven't been this upset since my good friend Taylor was rudely upstaged by my other friend Kanye, who was defending my best friend, Beyonce. To add salt to the wound, she finds out Jianyu is actually Jason. Now, I don't know who you are, but I do know that you're not a Buddhist monk. Seemingly surrounded by imposters, she turns to Chidi for comfort and possibly a little more. I'm just a girl, towering over a boy, asking him to admit he loves me. And despite the potential feud between Tahani and Eleanor, who have both declared their love for the same man, they take the high road and strike up a real friendship. Some part of me possibly has a sense of casual kinship with you. Much as one might be fond of a street cat. Which helps her come to this realization. We do have the sort of connection that only two highly educated sophisticates could have, but it's not true love. Tahani even tries to help Eleanor earn her spot in the good place. Until this happens. This is the bad place. Which leads to this realization. My motivations were corrupt. After Michael reboots the neighborhood, wiping the human's memories, Tahani is yet again tortured by Michael as he repeatedly forks with her ego. Sorry, it's just a, a portrait of my, my sister. Wonderful. Your sister is Camila Al Jamil. I used to play her music for my patients. At times, it felt like Camila's songs were curing the malaria for us. Great. But the humans keep foiling his demonic plot, forcing him to team up with them. And when Tahani isn't convinced she belongs in the bad place, Michael shows her how she died, causing her to realize she only did good deeds to try to earn more praise than her sister. Camilla is very impressive. As you know, she released her debut album only six months ago, and yet the critics thought it was so brilliant that the Hall of Fame decided to waive its 25-year waiting period. With this newfound epiphany, Tahani wants to become the person she pretended to be on Earth, but with the right motivation this time. I, Tahani Al-Jamil, shall do my level best to make every event too much. And while the demons in the neighborhood continue to torture Tahani, she finds comfort in Jason, who reminds her she's cool, dope, fresh, and smart brained. Which leads to this. That was awesome. Michael continues to work on a plan to get them into the real good place. There is a potential method of transportation. Well, is, is it nice? Is there a business class? Can I pre-board? And Tahani continues to take Chidi's ethics lessons while this continues to happen. Jason is unlike anyone she dated on Earth, 
And while she has difficulty reconciling her past status on Earth with the relaxed, sweetheart sexiness she loves about Jason, Tahani starts to let her heart guide her, not her ego. <laughs> Thor! That's done! They even go as far as getting engaged. Will you marry me? But when the wedding is called off to stop Janet from glitching, because of her unrequited love for Jason, things cool between him and Tahani, and ultimately, they break up, but for a good reason. Probably about time I stopped relying on others for my sense of self-worth or happiness. After their split, Team Cockroach makes it to the judges' chambers to plead their case, and Tahani convinces her to hear them out. To paraphrase a song written by my godfather, hey judge, don't make it bad. Take a sad group and make us better. But now she'll face her most difficult challenge in the afterlife thus far. Everyone in every room that you pass is going to be discussing what they truly think about you. And even though she doesn't pass the test, she proves that she has grown a ton since her time on Earth. Whatever progress I have made, it's because you and I have become mates. Luckily for her and the rest of the humans, Michael and Judge Jen give them all another chance. With her life spared on Earth, Tahani starts to live modestly, but eventually slips into her old attention-seeking ways. And that's what my book is about. Shedding your need for validation from others. With a little nudge from a mysterious New Age snake oil salesman, Gordon Indigo. Tahani eventually finds her way to the Brainy Bunch and gets back on the path to ethical enlightenment. But when Michael meddles a little too much in the human's path to improvement, he mistakenly shows Tahani and the rest the door to the afterlife, effectively negating their chances of getting into the good place. Well, this sucks. With a new mission to save the souls of their loved ones, Tahani and the aptly named Soul Squad set out to save the souls of their families and get closure with their relationships. Tahani makes an appearance at her sister's exhibit. At first, attempting to connect with Camilla goes about as well as you'd expect. But when Tahani makes this realization... These paintings? They're us. She opens herself up to Camilla and repairs their relationship. Tahani, what are you doing? Stop it! No, I'm going to hug you because I love you. Which is good timing, because here comes a bunch of demons to literally drag everyone to hell. Phew, that was close. Obviously, I'd never do that in a competition. That'd be a three-tenths deduction. <sighs> but now she's dead, because once you're in Janet's void, you don't really have a mortal body anymore. Am I wearing a vest? Who? Oh. Michael? After escaping to the Good Place mailroom and trying to help Jason with his Janet troubles, Tahani gives Michael the idea to make a special appeal to Judge Jen. Every time I do something nice, it backfires. With the judge on board with Michael's new experiment, <laughs> Tahani's and the rest of the human souls hang in the balance. The bond they all have will be tested and will also be instrumental in their fates.